What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA Tech Plus FC0 U71 certification exam. So let's get into it. In this video on notational systems, we'll be exploring the four major number systems, such as binary, hexadecimal, decimal, and octal. Each of these systems plays a crucial role in computing and understanding how they work is essential for anyone preparing for the CompTIA Tech Plus certification exam. All right, so let's begin with the decimal system, which is the one most of us are familiar with. So the decimal system is also known as base 10. It uses 10 digits ranging from number zero to nine, and each digit in a number has a place value that is a power of 10. And this is the system we use in everyday life for counting and performing arithmetic. So for example, in the number 453, the four represents four hundreds or four times 10 to the second power, which equals 400. The five represents five tens or five times 10 to the first power, which equals 50. And the three represents three ones or three times 10 to the zero power, which equals three. So 453 in decimal equals 400 plus 50 plus three. So while the system is great for human use, computers find it less efficient because they operate electronically in a way that's better suited to a binary system. And this brings us to our next topic, which is the binary system. So the binary system, this is the fundamental language of computers. It is also known as base two and uses only two digits, zero and one. In binary, each place value represents a power of two, starting with two to the zero, two to the first and two squared and so on. Binary is used by computers because at the hardware level, everything is represented as electrical states, typically on and off, which can be efficiently represented by ones and zeros. So let's take the example right here. The binary number 1011 is represented like this. The leftmost one is in the two to the third position, which equals one times two to the third, which equals the number eight. The zero is in the two squared position. So you take zero times two squared, and obviously that equals zero. Then we have the next one, which is in the two to the first position. So that'll be one times two to the first, and that equals two. And then the last Last one is in the two to the zero position, and that equals one times two to the zero, which equals one. So when you add up all those numbers, eight plus zero plus two plus one, that equals 11. So the binary number one, zero, one, one, this equals 11 in decimal. Now, why is binary important? Well, computers use binary because digital circuits, such as processors and memory, only understand two states, on and off. And these states can be represented perfectly by ones and zeros in binary notation. All right, next up is the hexadecimal system or base 16. So the hexadecimal system uses 16 symbols, the digits zero through nine, followed by the letters A through F. And the letters represent the decimal values 10 through 15. So A equals 10, B equals 11, C equals 12, D equals 13, E equals 14, and F equals 15. Hexadecimal is often used in computing because it can represent large binary numbers more compactly. So for example, one hexadecimal digit represents four binary digits or bits. And this is why hex is frequently used in memory addresses and color codes in computing. So let's break down an example. So we have the value 2F in hexadecimal. The two is in the 16 to the first place, and that represents 2 times 16, which equals 32. And the F represents 15, and it's in the 16 to the 0 place. So 15 times 1 equals 15. So add these together, gives you 32 plus 15 equals 47. So 2F in hexadecimal notation is equal to the number 47 in decimal notation. Now, converting between binary and hexadecimal is also straightforward. So let's take the binary number 1010, 1. One, one, one. If we group the binary digits into sets of fours, we get one zero one zero and one 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 one. And these groups are as follows. So one zero one zero is A in hexadecimal notation, and one 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 is F in hexadecimal notation. So basically, the binary number one zero one zero one 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 that essentially becomes AF in hexadecimal notation. 
Now, I know a lot of y'all are probably listening to this and you are extremely lost and confused right now, but do not worry. Tech G is here to save the day. I have created a video showing you how to convert from decimal to binary to hexadecimal and vice versa so that you can go out there and become a notational systems conversion superstar. So that video will be included in this playlist so that you can go out there and make it do what it do. All right, next let's talk about what is called the octal system. So the octal system, or it is also known as base eight, and this uses the digits zero through seven. So like binary and hexadecimal, octal was also used in computing, although it is less common today than hexadecimal. In the octal system, each place value represents a power of eight. And octal was historically used because it's easier to convert binary numbers into octal. So for example, groups of three binary digits digits can be directly converted into one octal digit. So for example, let's look at the octal number 745. So the seven is in the eight to the second place. So that means you have seven times 64 and that gets you 448. The four is in the eight to the first place. And that means you have eight times four, which equals 32. And then you have five, which is in the eight to the zero place. And that means five times one equals five. So you add up all those numbers together. Together, 448 plus 32 plus 5 that equals 485. So the number 745 in octal notation equals 485 in decimal notation. Now, why was octal used? So in early computing systems, octal made it easier to read and process binary numbers because computers often work with 12-bit, 24-bit, or 36-bit systems. Since three-digit binary digits perfectly convert to one octal digit, it was more efficient to use in certain environments. All right, so to wrap all of this up, here is a quick recap. So decimal, also known as base 10, is the system we use every day for counting and arithmetic. Binary, which is known as base two, is the language of computers representing data in zeros and ones. Then we have hexadecimal notation, also known as base 16. This is used to represent binary data more compactly with digits ranging from zero through nine and A through F. And then we have octal, our base eight, and this was historically important in computing, especially with older systems, and it uses digits zero through seven. Now, understanding these systems and knowing how to convert between them is crucial for working with computers and is a key part of the CompTIA Tech Plus certification exam. All right, now with all of that being said, let's get to the check on learning. So the first question is, what is the main difference between the binary and hexadecimal numbering systems? Is it A, binary uses zero through one while hexadecimal uses zero through nine and letters A through F? Is it B, binary uses zero through nine while hexadecimal uses zero through nine and letters A through Z? Is it C, binary uses zero through two while hexadecimal uses zero through seven or is it D. Binary uses 0 through 9 while hexadecimal uses 0 through 15. And the correct answer would be A. So the binary system is base 2 using only digits 0 and 1. The hexadecimal system is base 16 using digits 0 through 9 and the letters A through F to represent values 10 through 15. Next question, which notational system is commonly used for representing memory addresses in computer systems? Would it be A, binary, B, decimal, C, hexadecimal, or D, octal? And the correct answer would be hexadecimal. This is commonly used to represent memory addresses because it is more compact than binary and provides a straightforward mapping to binary values, making it easier for humans to read and understand. And our final question, which number system uses a base of 10? Would it be A, binary, B, decimal, C, hexadecimal, or D, octal? And the correct answer would be decimal. So the decimal system, which is also known as base 10, is the most commonly used numbering system in everyday life and uses the digits 0 through 9. 